It is time for us to take on the fearful prisoner. He is only level four. I think this is what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Anyway, welcome back to Swords and Sandals 3. I have been doing quite a bit of grinding in the arena, and I believe I am now prepared to attack. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing a silk shirt, silk shoulder guards, leather trousers, boar hide bands, and we also have cloth wraps on our feet. There are no helmets available for my price range. So that's that's basically what it is. Anyway, let's do it. It's a human mage. Ah, right. So the fearful prisoner was voted least likely to succeed of all the prisoners in the Emperor's dungeon. And I'm sure he's going to one-shot me, probably. Isn't he? Let's do this. Let's see if we can actually get close to him and take him out. Because he's already used a lot of his magic, so I don't think he has much of a shot at beating us. Which is pretty nice to me. I think uh, I think that's pretty good. And there we go. We're gonna we're gonna spare his life, as is the uh, usual case. And I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. 1,250, and we have also leveled up now, thankfully. So let's go for School of Warfare once again. And uh, apparently, I can do dual wield, but uh, I need to get 10 points in that. So we will continue to level Mace Mastery. And with his defeat at your hands, the fearful prisoner's unlikely winning streak was snapped at 23 straight, and the first arena, cha arena champion fell. You have taken your first step into a larger and darker world. Congratulations. Chapter 1 has been completed. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I now have 2,400 gold, so technically what I can do is buy a new mace, which is what I would like to do. Let me see if there's actually anything here. A mallet. Is that any good? 5 to 14 damage. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that, but it's a two-handed weapon. 5 to 14 damage. Maybe it would be useful, but the price is only 500. The price is so much. I mean, I mean so little, even. Why is it so little? I'd much rather get the Morning Star. I think the Morning Star is much more fun. So I think we're, we're, we're just going to save up and try and get that. Is there a helm now available for me? Maybe there's a helm available, or maybe something. Maybe leather gauntlets. Do I not have leather gauntlets, by the way? Not entirely sure. I'm going to buy that. There we go. I do have some. I have boarhide bands, but do I have leather gauntlets? No. Okay, so that's actually a little bit better than what I was wearing beforehand. So I suppose that's okay. I mean, I'd much rather have a helmet of some sort, but anyway, let's uh, let's continue to go onward then. And uh, I have, well, a lot of damage now. I have a lot of damage, so we should have a pretty easy time of dealing with these guys. I mean, this is supposed to be a very easy fight, and now I can actually do normal attacks with an 85% chance to hit, which, as it stands right now, doesn't seem to be that good, but... It's a lot better than it was. We are still missing with 85% chance. Are you serious now? Uh, well, never mind. I guess it's. I guess it might be worth it, the amount of damage that I'm able to deal. I think that's pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to just finish him off with a quick attack, and we will then spare his life. Oh yeah, by the way, if you are wondering what my current record is, did you see, did you see my record, by the way? I'm not entirely sure if you saw it, but basically I lost one game. Can you believe that? I actually lost one match because... I had the worst luck in the world. Basically, I was hitting this guy. I got him down to about 20 HP. And then at the very end, when I was about to, you know, when I was about to kill him, you know what happened? I missed three times in a row, and then he got a critical on me. So, yeah, it was really, <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. So he kind of, he, he kind of killed me sort of thing but thankfully in this game apparently if you die he, he, you don't necessarily get absolutely murdered and there's no game over so that's pretty cool but yeah anyway uh, that's that's basically what happened and how I ended up losing which was not great because uh, me, me missing three times in a row with a quick attack by the way with a quick attack and it wasn't really a miss so much as it was him dodging the enemy was dodging like no one's business so it was really Really very impressive, to be honest. It was very, very impressive indeed to see that. But, you know, 
Anyway, we're just going to go through these guys, try and uh, level up a little bit more, and I would like to be able to get that two-handed weapon, if at all possible. I'm not a big fan of dual wielding, personally. Maybe the dual wield is actually going to be much more fun than I think. But for me, dual wielding two maces, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be that good. Maybe it's going to be really good, though, and I'm going to love it, but who knows. Anyway, let's see if we can defeat Gus. He's using a really cool weapon. What is that? That's a sickle. That's a pole arm. 6 to 12 damage. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm actually going to go for a defensive stance right here. Maybe we can do a little bit of battle trance action going on here. Because battle trance is always fun. Because that, that can mean that we can do so much more damage. We can literally do like double damage. So it might make sense for us to do that against an opponent with 63 armor. But maybe... Can I... Ooh, he pushed me back. I was actually hoping he wouldn't push me back. The AI does actually do quite a good job of keeping you away when you're actually attempting to utilize battle trance but it seems like this guy oh yeah he's getting murdered there we go nice we'll spare his life once again i think he looks pretty cool actually i like that i, I like that hat i'd like to have that hat if at all possible doesn't seem like i'm going to be able to get it though unless i beat this guy and maybe i'll be able to buy a hat at the other at the other armorer, because at the moment the, the one armorer that I actually have available to me does not sell helms, so obviously that's a bit of an issue, but well, this guy's got a huge amount of HP, doesn't he? But I hope he doesn't have that much offensive capability. He has a lot of magic here as well, so what what is, what is this guy trying to do? Is he trying to be a mage, or is he trying to be a tank? Or maybe he's trying to do a little bit of both. Maybe that's what's going on there. As you can see though, it takes a huge amount of time for us to take him out, and then he pushed me back, so I obviously was unable to get anywhere in terms of my battle trance, which was unfortunate, but that's okay. We can just continue whittling him down as long as he doesn't do critical on me, and as long as I don't miss three times in a row, we should be okay. Oh, one HP. There we go. Phew, that was actually a bit close. That was a bit close. If he got a critical at the very end there, he probably would have killed me. So that is not good, but we have now leveled up, which is great. So that means I can level up my strength a little bit more, I can level up something else a little bit more, but I think I'm actually just going to go for strength. Just all out strength, and now I will go and see if I can buy a new mace. So we have 2,800 gold, that's easily enough to be able to do something here. I should, I could or should maybe buy the Morningstar, the Morningstar seems pretty fun. So let's do that. There we go. We'll buy that. And then we will go to the other armorer as well and see if there's anything I can use. See, as you can see, most of this stuff is extremely high level. No way I'm going to be able to do that. And we do have a couple of other things here as well. Uh, I'm level 7 now, right? So technically I could get these. These are thigh guards. Mm, you know what? I'm actually just going to get these leather boots. I think... These are actually going to be much better than what I was wearing. So I'm going to get those. Yes, there we go. All right, because you can see here, I'm actually wearing these these cloth wraps, which are five armor, and these are 21. So obviously, that's much better. And we will be equipping the Morning Star. Uh, okay, I will unequip this then. Is this a two-handed as well? No, it's a one-handed. So yeah, this is a two-handed. And... There we go. All right. That's going to be really fun to see how it performs. Can I actually challenge the next arena champion right now? This guy is a level 7. We are actually level 7 as well, so we might be able to do it. But you know what? I'm going to go for a zombie goat man who's level 10. And we're going to try and defeat him before we take on the next guy in the champions champions arena. So let's uh, let's see. Let's see it. Ooh, ooh. Well, that was quite a bit of damage, but we're wearing some really nice stuff now, as you can see. We are very heavily armored. It's going to be very hard for anyone to get through all of that. And there you go. We were able to eliminate him very, very quickly indeed. So technically, a good way of grinding in the game, I think, if let me just test this out real quick, is going out and then going back in. No, you have to defeat all of these guys, so you can't actually get a refresh, if you know what I mean. So it will take a bit more time to go through them.
All right, so it is time for another battle here. This is probably the last arena battle that I'm going to be doing because I'm actually maxed out in terms of level. As you can see, I've actually gained a beret. And that does give me a little bit of extra armor. Nothing crazy to write home about or anything like that, but it does give me a little bit extra. And it makes him look like a proper captain now, doesn't he? Yes, it makes him look a little bit more fitting for his name. So I think that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, this fellow that I'm actually fighting here is very dangerous indeed. As you can see, his, his Magicka abilities are very very dangerous and he can probably he can kill me now actually he can kill me if ooh, if I had not killed him right there or taken him down I probably would have died because he was using Requiem of Morning or something along those lines and as you can see you can gain no more XP until you defeat the arena champion so obviously that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna try and do see it so let's go and uh, take a look at my uh, options is this actually pretty good this is actually pretty good 8 to 16 I think that's better than what I'm currently wearing I think yes it is actually pretty good so we're gonna use that instead and we are gonna challenge the next arena champion boar hide trader pigsus is his name. He is massive by the looks of things. He's got, whoa, he's got some pretty good stuff on. He's got some good stuff. As you can see, 107 armor he has. We've got 94, so that's pretty good still as well. But I'm a bit worried about that weapon. What's he, what's he using? That is a burly pig rake of the boar. It is an enchanted item with 18 to 36 damage. What? Minimum level required is 21. And he's, he's using it somehow. Not entirely sure how he's using it, but okay. I guess uh, I guess the arena champions don't have to abide by any rules specifically. Well, this is going to be interesting. I am going to die. I'm going to die very, very easily, actually. There's nothing I can do about this. Wow. Well, he spared me, which was very nice of him. But uh, I I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I have no idea how I'm supposed to do that because, let's face it, I can't level up anymore. I think I've specced into some pretty decent stuff. I don't think I have made too many mistakes. I'm using decent gear. I mean, I've got 2,300 gold, so technically I could buy something new. So I could buy some boots, for example. I think I've just bought new boots, so let's not do that. I could buy... Thigh guards, I guess. Let's buy some thigh guards. Maybe that's going to help me out a little bit because oh, it's actually not even giving me that much more, but I, I guess I guess we'll do that. I don't know. I mean, there's not much more I can do. Maybe I just got unlucky. Did I get unlucky or is this guy just super hard? I don't even know because I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to beat this guy otherwise. Maybe my build is just not good, you know, because I know that someone actually did mention in the comments that they are a, uh, I think you're like a level, what is it, a level 57 mage or something like that, which I thought was very impressive indeed. I mean, come on now. You know, I'm like, what, level 8? So being level 57 or something along those lines, that's pretty insane. And uh, maybe if I just adopt a defensive stance until I get battle trance, maybe that's going to be the way that I win. If he doesn't dodge. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, that was that was pretty decent damage actually, but unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be enough. I think I'm probably going. I, mean, I think I'm probably going to die. Let's regain some health. I parried. That was pretty good. Let's go for defensive stance again then. Try and get battle trance if at all possible, because that seems to be the only way that I can actually win this in a decent fashion. So let's try it. There's Battle Trance. Okay, I need three. Ooh, he interrupted me. That was really bad. I'm gonna die now, I think. Yep. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. So it seems like this is as far as I can come with Captain ne Nebuchadnezzar. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything more than that because as you've seen, it just seems to be it just seems to be game over basically. So this is where you can actually find the helms. I was actually a bit dumb about that. So yeah, I didn't actually know where to find them beforehand, but it's really nice that you can actually buy a whole wide variety of different helms here. And you can also buy scarves as well. 
I think I might, wait a minute. Do I not have something? This goes to head. Ah, right, okay. I actually thought that I could buy a cape and it would go on my back or something like that, but no, that's probably not the case. You can buy, um, you can buy shields and stuff, but I'm using a two-handed weapon, so it would not allow me to equip it. But that seems to be it. I don't think I can go any further. And I mean, you can see, uh, I can't even, I can't even scroll up. I wish I could scroll up and see how many champions they actually have. But I can imagine that I have just made bad decisions with my current character, which I got to say is actually kind of sad because I was actually having a lot of fun. And you can see here that I guess my stats are just not good enough. I probably should have gone for maybe a magic build or something like that, but I've never done very well with magic. But anyway, if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, I suppose we'll move on to Swords and Sandals 4, perhaps. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.